Are you looking to install any Android Chain custom ROM on your Xiaomi device? And you don't know how to do it? Hey guys, KSK here. Welcome to this video. Today we'll teach you how to install Android 10 custom ROM on any Xiaomi device. It is a step-by-step -step guide, so make sure you watch the video till to the end without missing any parts of the video. Now using this method, you can almost install any Android 10 custom ROM on any Xiaomi device. This method is applicable to all MI, Redmi series and Poco series. To demonstrate this video, I will be using a POCO F1, so using the same way you can install any ROM on the following devices. If in case you end up having any issues like stuck at boot logo or boot loop or soft break your device, then watch my video to fix any kind of issues on your Xiaomi device and you will find that link in the description box down below. Now to know more about your specific Android device, check out XDA and Telegram threads. The only prerequisites for this video, make sure your phone has unlocked bootloader and a Windows PC is required for installing a custom recovery. A custom ROM is an Android distribution that lets you experience the stock look of Android which you get to see on Pixel devices. There are tons of custom ROMs available in the market for free which supports many Xiaomi devices. If you want to know the best 10 custom ROMs for Android then watch my video by clicking the card from here or check the link in the description box down below. Now in this video I will be using a ROM named Evolution X which is based on Android 10. Now that being said, moving on to step number one, downloading a custom ROM. So as I told you that I will be using an Evolution X, to do so, just gonna go to the Google and search for Evolution X. Then click on the first link, then this will take you to this page. Now click on files here. There are a lot of files available for different devices. Choose one from here. In this case, I'm using Poco F1. So the name of my device is gonna be a Beryllium. This is a code name. Basically, a code name is an internal ID of your device. You can verify your device code name by using an application called device information. Anyhow, I'm gonna choose a Beryllium option. And here it will list all the latest versions of this ROM. I'm going to go ahead and download the first one which is the latest edition by the time of recording this video. Don't worry if you don't find your device on this list. You can try different ROMs like Lineage OS, Pixel ROM or any other ROM or even check XDA for more information and compatibility about your specific Android device. Step number two, setting up platform tools on Windows computer. Now, once it's done downloading any ROM on your computer, place it somewhere on your PC. In this case, I will put on my desktop for easier navigation. Now, head over to platform tools website and download the latest ADB and fastboot drivers. These drivers are required to set up a custom recovery on your device. Now, once it's downloaded, extract it using a WinRAR extractor. Now inside this extracted directory, you will see all the commands and more importantly, ADB and fastboot. That being said, moving on to step number three, flashing TWRP recovery. Now to install any custom ROM on your device, it requires a custom recovery. A recovery is a place where custom ROMs can be installed or resurrected. So head over to the official website of TWRP, then click on devices. And in the search field, type your device name. Now in this case, I will type my phone name as Poco F1 and I will select the first option. Then under the download links, choose the mirror option and download the latest version. Now along with TWRP recovery image file, you need to download a disable force encrypted zip file from this link. I will tell you why we need this file when flashing a TWRP recovery image. Now from step number one to step number three, we have downloaded many files, the custom ROM, platform tools, TWRP recovery image, and DFE, aka Disable Force Encryptor. I recommend placing these files on the desktop for easier navigation. Now I will move the TWRP image file into the extracted folder of platform tools where ADB and fastbit commands are present. Step number four, preparing your device. Now, one thing I wanna say to all of you is that keep in mind installing a custom ROM won't void your warranty. Some people say after unlocking the bootloader, your warranty will be gone, but Xiaomi gives an option to relock the bootloader back to normal so that you can claim the warranty back again. 
Anyhow, when you're flashing a custom ROM, it's always recommended to back up your entire data. I mean, the user data of the internal storage, like contacts, photos, videos to cloud or computer, just to be on a safer side. You never know when things go wrong, so please back up, back up your data, and don't bash me in the comments about your data loss. Next up, maintain a battery juice about 80% or higher. Then inside settings, sign out from Google account, MI account, and please remove the lock screen passwords, patterns, and fingerprints, which is very important. If you do so, you won't run into any encryption issues. Also, make sure you're on the latest version of MIUI. If you see any software updates, just gonna go ahead and update to the latest version. So, most custom ROMs rely on the latest vendor and firmware. Again, if you see any software updates, just gonna go ahead upgrade to the latest version. So this way, you don't run into any errors while flashing a custom ROMs. Now it's time to flash TWRP in your device. To do so, first turn off your phone. Once it's turned off completely, then hold the power plus volume down buttons together to put your device into a fast boot mode. So when you see this logo, just gonna go ahead, release the keys and connect your phone to the computer using a data cable. Now head over to the extracted folder on your computer. In the previous step, I have moved the TWRP image into this directory where ADB and Fastboot commands are present. Now highlight the address bar from the top and type CMD, then press the enter key on your keyboard to open the command prompt. Here type Fastboot space devices, then pressing the return key it will show a device ID, which indicates the computer and phone have communicated with each other. Now type fastboot, flash, recovery, TWRP, and press the tab key to auto-complete it and flash the custom recovery. Now once it's done, type fastboot, boot, TWRP, again press the tab key to auto-complete and flash it. Now your device should boot into TWRP recovery. When you are inside TWRP recovery, the first thing you have to do is just gonna go click on the mount option and make sure enable MTP is selected. Then on your computer, you will see your device is listed on my computer. Now go ahead and copy the disable force encrypted zip file to the device. Once it's copied, then choose install zip option and flash the zip file. This file is required, helps to keep the TWRP as a permanent recovery. Now once it's done, reboot your phone. Now at this point, you will see your device should boot into MIUI with custom TWRP recovery. Keep in mind, in some devices, you may end up stuck at boot logo. If you face that issue, just gonna go ahead, boot back to TWRP recovery by using the power plus volume up keys combination. Then choose wipe option and format the internal storage. So this issue is mostly happens because of encryption. Then after that, rebooting to MIUI you will see your device has permanent TWRP recovery. Now the last and final step is flashing Android 10 custom ROM. Now copy the Evolution X or any other ROM that you have downloaded along with disable force encryptor zip files to the internal storage of the device. Then turn off your phone completely. Then hold power plus volume up keys combination to boot into TWRP recovery. Now inside the TWRP recovery, just gonna go ahead, click on the backup option and you make a backup of your current existing ROM using this backup option. This backup is useful if something goes wrong with a custom ROM, you can always restore this backup later to switch back to stock MIUI. I recommend saving this backup somewhere on your computer would be a big deal. Now once it's done, choose wipe option, then select advanced wipe, then select Delvic cache system data and wipe these partitions. Now go back to the main screen of the TWRP, then choose install zip option and select the device storage. In this case, I will select the internal storage, which is where the zip files are present. 
Now here I will select the Evolution X along with Disable Force Encryptor. Keep in mind some ROMs require a gapps package to be flashed separately. In this case, the installation doesn't require a Google Apps package because Evolution X is bundled with Google applications. Now once selected all files, just gonna go ahead and flash it. Now you will see there may be no warnings or errors displaying here which is a good sign. Keep in mind if you are not running the latest version of MIUI, you may end up stuck with error 7 warning. This warning tells that the custom ROM relies on the latest vendor and firmware of MIUI. So you need to update the vendor and firmware in order to successfully flash the custom ROM. If you follow my guide carefully, then you won't face any problem. Anyhow, the installation will take some time, put your device aside, and don't interrupt anything. Now once it's done, reboot your phone, and that's it, your device should boot into the new Android world. This is how you can install any custom ROM in your Xiaomi device. If in case you are facing any issues, watch this video and fix any kind of errors on your Xiaomi device. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you like this video by smashing the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you in my next video.